Welcome to another edition of AnyNode Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll invite you to sit back and watch as we share information on using parallel calling to ring a Microsoft Team user's dialed number. This can be done simultaneously on the Teams client as well as a desktop phone connected to a PBX. It can be very useful, especially if you already use Microsoft Teams and do not want to leave the familiar surroundings of a desktop phone. We start with an already finished node configuration consisting of three nodes with Microsoft Teams, a PBX, and a Voice over IP provider. To decide if the incoming number is already assigned to a Teams user, we use a dial string directory. In our example, we leverage a static directory for simplicity. If the information can be retrieved via LDAP, this would be a much easier way. It's also possible to import via CSV file. We'll start with an empty routing table. With Add, we open the Route Assistant. This enables us to be able to add new routing decisions. The first route filter will trigger the actual parallel call. We do not need to specify a specific node at this point as the calls can come from both the provider and internally from the PBX or Teams user. It is important that we specify the previously created Teams numbers in the directory as a filter under lookup directories. At this point, we find our directory Then we can enter the route filter. With establishment, we now define the action that will take effect as soon as the Microsoft Teams number has been dialed. Here, the parallel call will be triggered. We then select establish parallel call as a route action type. In the first parallel call, the destination number should not be changed. This means we add nothing in the destination rewriting. We then click Add, where we add the second parallel call. At this point, we add a prefix to the destination number so that the second route can take hold. In our example, we simply add the word Teams on the destination number. Now we can finish the assistant and give a name for this route. The route for triggering the parallel call must be in front of other involved routes. In the table within any node, processing starts from the top down. It's very important that you remember that. Now we would like to create a route that is taken when the parallel call number two has been triggered with a destination rewriting. As a route filter, the call can come from any node, but the prefix Teams must appear in the destination number. Then the call should be routed, so we set as action type route call. Of course, the call should then be routed to the Microsoft Teams node. Now all we have to do is remove the added word Teams with the destination rewriting so that the correct number is called in Microsoft Teams.
Since the word teams has five letters, we determine that the delete leading characters removes the first five digits of the destination number. The name of the route has already been suggested by the assistant and we now accept the name as well. Now we would like to previously set parallel call 1 to be routed to the PBX. Again, the call can come from all nodes. At this point, we need, as a filter, the destination match with, a, with the root number as a prefix so that the outgoing calls are possible. Otherwise, all outgoing telephone calls would be routed to the PBX again and not to the provider. We will create this route immediately afterwards. For the provider route, we specify the PBX and Microsoft Teams as source nodes for the filter, since only those nodes should be able to make a call to the provider. we enter the provider as the destination node. Now we have created the necessary routes for our example. We must not forget to permanently save the entries with a commit. At this point, we would like to remind you once again that the, the route for triggering the parallel call must precede the other routes used in the table. If necessary, we can change the position using this up button. Now let's take a closer look at the finished route table. The first entry triggers the parallel call when dialing a phone number assigned to the Microsoft Teams user. We then receive a parallel call one without changing the destination number and a parallel call two with a change of the destination number that contains the prefix Teams. Parallel call one then goes to the PBX and parallel call two goes to Microsoft Teams. Already drawn routes such as the triggering of the parallel call are then automatically not used by any node again. Otherwise the call, which should go to the telephone system, would be stuck in an endless loop on the first route decision. Outgoing calls from Microsoft Teams and PBX nodes are possible because we have set a prefix filter with the route number in the route for the PBX. Otherwise outgoing calls would not reach the route for the provider in the table. In monitor mode, we can perform a quick functionality test. We see that the call is forwarded to Microsoft Teams and to the PBX with a dial Teams number. And we have arrived at the end of this tutorial and thank you very much for your attention and your business. We want to wish you a wonderful day.